club. Okay, so I arrived in Berlin from New York, and uh, I, you know, I've been obsessing over this film, The Holy Mountain, for like I don't know, maybe five years, maybe a bit, a bit more. Um, and The Holy Mountain is a really uh, mystical, magical, masonical film. And I've always kind of wanted to draw attention to the fact that it's been a huge inspiration to me, along the you know occultist type lines of uh, magic and alchemy. So this show uh, pretty much was, or is a combination of those facts and elements from the film that that most interest me: uh, religion, uh, culture inspiration, vibration from the past. Okay, second question. And so differentiate between the work you were doing for the street and more controlled settings such as gallery while still maintaining your distinct visual identity. Well, okay, to be honest, I, I don't really draw that much. Uh, I don't really change that much uh, it depends on obviously in the studio I have so much more time than on the street uh, you know if it's not uh, commissioned work but I, I don't really make those ch those differences in my mind you know I used to I used to be very specific you know styles that not so much styles but approaches and um, uh, you know kind of resources from my mind that I would utilize, uh, you know, on the street to make it easier for myself. But these days, I, I kind of try to keep it fluid. Okay, third question. Your work explores contemporary mythologies and the human condition in general. Which subjects inspire you most? Okay. The subjects that inspire me are the paranormal, the un distinguishable. Uh, I'm interested in vibration and the law of attraction. I try to remain uh, and maintain a consistent mindfulness when it comes to observing situations, uh, conditions, socially and uh, you know, personally, publicly, environmentally. And uh, so to be specific, uh, I feel like I've maintained my the, the crux of how I've continued to make work, which is based in the fact that I try to make work that I, I want to talk about and I want to draw attention to and I want to uh, you know, let other people know about. It's kind of like carrying books um, from one city to another and how much they weigh you down, but when you're able to actually share those books and that information, uh, it's, it's really exciting. Okay, uh, the other question. Spending some time in Berlin on the occasion of this residency, how would you compare the city's art scene to the one of your native Brisbane or New York where you base out? Okay, so Berlin's really alive, and, uh, and whether it's the art scene or just the scene in general, I think art scene's kind of uh, fueled uh, by the by the scene in general, by the, the, the environment that, uh, that they're in. Um, yeah, so they, uh, you know, I would say it's quite alive. I mean, uh, all you gotta do is walk the streets of Berlin to see that it's um, awesome. Uh, and, um, and I've got absolutely no comment about my hometown. And, uh, you know, New York is, um, New York's, in, it's not like Berlin, you know, maybe it used to be, but it's not, it's not anymore, it feels like. Uh, okay, so, um, so who are the artists who inspire you along the way and whose work do you appreciate now? Well, obviously, Picasso, an Australian artist called Brett Whiteley, graffiti from, you know, the, the primitive periods to, um, to contemporary, Basquiat, Rembrandt, Francis Bacon, Egon Schiel, um, William Burroughs, uh, Bukowski, um, Michelangelo, Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain, um, Hunter S. Thompson, puppeteers everywhere. 
they, you know, um, unicyclists.